What's happening guys? Welcome to part one in the series on how to create a sentiment analyzer using Yelp business reviews. In this video, we're gonna go through how to get your data off Yelp using Beautiful Soup and the request module from Python. And then later on, we'll start analyzing our data, cleaning our data uh, in the next couple of series of videos. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to need to do in order to get our data off Yelp is to create a request and grab our data from there to begin with. So to do that, we're gonna use the request module from Python and we're gonna import requests and we're also gonna need beautiful soup. So beautiful soup just makes life a whole lot easier when you're trying to traverse a HTML result. So we're gonna import beautiful soup and we're gonna do that by running the command to BS4, so from BS4, import beautiful soup. Alrighty, cool. So what we're going to do now is create a request to the website that contains our review data. So I've just picked a random Tesla dealership. So ju let's just use that for now. And you can see the link there. So we'll copy that. And our request is, so we're going to store our request or our result in a variable. So we're just going to call the variable R for now and we'll make a request by running request.get and we'll pass our URL there. If everything has gone successfully, we should be able to get a status code of 200. So we can check that by getting the attribute r.status code and you can see it's 200. Now this doesn't initially return the text for the result. So what we can do to grab that out is just use the text attribute, so r.text and you can see we've got everything there. Now, this isn't all that readable, but Beautiful Soup's gonna make that a whole lot easier in a second. So, our reviews. Now, what we wanna try to do is find patterns in terms of our reviews in order to help or use Beautiful Soup. And, and what I'm talking about when I mention patterns are patterns in the DOM. So, what we can see here, is that each review is sort of within its own div and you've got another one here. So what we can do is inspect that. And you can see it's in a paragraph and then it appears to be in another div called review content. So let's just check another one and see if that holds true for more than one. Seems to be the case. And same thing, and you can see this data review ID is changing each time. Let's check this one. Yep. So it looks like they're in the review content and inside a paragraph. So all we can do is we can use Beautiful Soup to traverse our result, bring back the div which contains review content, and then grab just the text within the paragraph from there. So what we'll do in order to do that is we'll create a soup using beautiful soup. And to that object, we're going to pass r.text, which is our result. And we're gonna be using the HTML parser. Alrighty, so that should be fine. So what we can then do now is use the find all function to grab all the review content divs. And we're going to say class equals review dash content and that should return a list of divs which all have the class of review content if we run that looks like we've got let's just check the type okay so it's a result set which is really just a list and then what we're going to do so we're going to store that in a divs variable so this will allow us to loop through it and grab out our paragraphs. Because remember, they're inside the actual text that we want is inside each paragraph. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can create a new variable called reviews. Yeah, reviews, and that will be a blank list to begin with. And then we're just gonna loop through each one in the div. So for div in divs, we are going to, so div.find, so we're gonna use the find method, 
and we're going to look for the paragraph. And we let's print that out just to make sure we're getting the right thing to begin with. Okay, so it looks like it's getting each paragraph. That's looking good, but it's still got the markup. So we don't actually want that. So we just want the text. That's looking a little bit better. Let's just print a line break between each one so we can see what we've actually got. Alrighty, so it looks like we've actually got the review text. So that's perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw all of that in an array and eventually later on we're going to use pandas to throw it into a data frame. So we'll put it, append it to the reviews list by running reviews.append. And what have we done wrong? Oh, sorry, we've called this review, haven't we? We also had one too many brackets, so let's just do that. Alrighty, and there we go. So we've now got our reviews in an array and we're ready to jump over to step two. So in video two, we're gonna go through how to analyze our review data. So we're going to be calculating some useful metrics and we'll go from there.